Hi, this is Brooke here, and welcome back to another unboxing review, which is the first one in a while, actually. Um, it's been nearly two months since I last did one. This is a rather thin package, but um, I've been waiting so long for these, and they finally arrived. <laughs> I'm very pleased to say. But first of all, some backstory. Um, Power of the Daleks. There's been so much hype about it recently. I don't think I. I think it's the only story which has been given all that publicity. I mean, um, it's it, it, first of all, it's been reanimated, which is the main thing. Uh, it's also there's also the DVD of it, it's packed with special features. And um, in February, there's going to be a, a Steelbook edition with the color version on Blu-ray. And no other Doctor Who animated story has ever been given that treatment. Anyway, um, on the fifth of well, on the third of November, uh, BBC Store um, announced that uh, the first one thousand people to buy the Power of the Daleks digitally will will get six free art cards. Yes, and I was one of them. <laughs> So, um, I've got the Power of the Daleks. It is fantastic, by the way. If you haven't seen it, then I definitely recommend that you, you should watch it. it. At the time of recording of this video, it's still on BBC Store um, at about £10. But you can also buy it on DVD. Um, and then, as I said before, Steelbook Blu-ray um, in February. On February. Well, in February. Anyway, I'm just going to open this up. Yeah, I still don't have a tripod either. Yes! Sorry, I was just checking that it was. Boom! There it is. There they are. Limited edition house cards. Limited to 1,000 pieces. Wow! Yes! So, um, first of all, first impressions. It looks really nice. Picture of, well, photograph of Patrick Chanson on the front. The Power of the Daleks, the new logo, and uh, limited edition art cards next to us. Anyway, let's take this slip, slippy thing off, which holds it all together. Really doing this with one hand while holding the camera in the other. Really got to actually use the tripods. Maybe I will in the next video. Anyway. Okay, I want to keep this slip, th slip thing, because well, it's special. <laughs> As it tells people what what's, it is. So, the art cards themselves. First, ooh, sorry, I've just seen the second one. <laughs> um, it's Patrick Schneidson, there you go. In the image, playing his flute, iconically. And um, very iconically, um, this is his first episode and the first post-regeneration episodes, and yet the Doctor managed to not only re regenerate his face, but also his entire outfit, hmm, if you watch closely. And uh, 1966 BBC publicity photo of Patrick Trouson. You got a pair of the Daleks, BBC store and everything. That's quite nice. Next. Is this, which is a photograph, well, it's just a photograph, it's a drawing of um, Daleks exploding in episode 6. Spoiler. <laughs> Although it's, it is part of the surviving footage, so I don't think it's that much of a spoiler. Again, a uh, storyboard sketch by uh, Daryl Joyce. I've heard that name before. Hmm. Um, the Power of the Daleks, BBC Store, again, same sort of layout, same sort of postcards layouts, which I quite like. I can't remember which way up it went now. Oh, yeah. That way up. <laughs> yeah. Next. I've got the second Doctor in animated form. That's that's pretty nice as well, I have to say. Comparing it with the real Patrick Chasson. You, you can certainly see that they're the same person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. I'm, I'm not sure... Although the power of the Daleks is really good, I don't know if I like the Doctor in this one, especially during the early episodes where Dr. Shaston was sort of slowly adjusting to becoming this new character and he wasn't sure where 
to begin, but anyway, BBC Store, um, Joy, uh, sorry, Working Drawing by uh, Martin uh, Geralty, hmm? Crafty, Crafty, I'm, I'm not sure, sorry, sorry if you're watching because I don't know how to pronounce your name, but uh, I'm, 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 I really am terribly st sorry, but um, yeah, it's the power of the Daleks. Yes, BBC Store. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so excited that these have finally come. They says that they'll come within 28 days of delivery. There you go. Oh, oh, I know this bit. This is um, the Doctor at the console. In the episode one, he just sort of um, goes to the console, which is about here, and then he sort of lounges on it. So, artwork by Martin Grifty. Adrian Salmon, Salmon and Mike Collins. Mike Collins, incidentally, is a designer and... is he? Oh no, yes, I've met Mike Collins. He came to um, uh, my local library a few years ago um, to um, uh, teach people how to draw comic books and um, he does he does the artwork for some of the Doctor Who magazines. In fact, he did the storyboards for... Um, for series eight, so there you go. In fact, Doctor Who magazine does quite an interesting article about it. Uh, if if you find it, I would definitely recommend a read or a look through because he is a fantastic man. Anyway, Patrick trying to name it Sal, uh, Vulcan Earth Examiner. There, of course, he uh, he was posing as the Earth Examiner in the story and. Uh, Image from episode four, yeah. Yes, he was uh, locked up when uh, they discovered that he was an imposter. BBC Storm Apparent Daleks. Again, oh, 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 um, I don't know why I'm pointing these out all the time, because you've seen them already. So um, what I wanted to do is just point out these. So, yeah, that's that's a pretty good, good image. And finally... Yeah, that's that's the DVD design, and it is really good. You've got the new logo, um, Doctor Ben and Polly and three Daleks. Um, in fact, I quite like um, this because um, the only splash of colour on it, apart from the logo, is on the Dalek bumps or hemispheres. And um, I was going to say that there's tiny little bits in the weapons and in the ice dogs, but those are a bit hard to see. Hmm. Yes. And, oops. Finally, DVD cover artwork by Colin Howard. And, yeah. That's it. So, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching. Um, hope to see you again sometime. If you are not subscribed, then um, I would recommend that you do, because... I do stuff like this and boxing reviews. Um, and um, please give a like and everything. So, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and uh, P.S. Um, uh, if you haven't seen my first anniversary video, then I'm really recommending and checking that out because uh, I'll be talking about analytics and things. Well, it's interesting to me, at least. <laughs> um, and... Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and uh, in, in the description of the first anniversary video, sorry, I'm rambling, um, I uh, put in something which I've got to say in that, and that's... Um, I have one planned. This is one I, would, I had planned for this month or December, depending on when they arrived, um, which now means I have to think of one for December. Um, but... Um, yeah, I also said that I have one for February plans and one for March. You'll have to find out what those are, I'm afraid. <laughs> but, um, yes, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and like, and if, if you want any questions answered, please leave a comment. Anyway, thank you for, very much for watching, and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.